So it's just gone 6 o'clock in the morning and I've started my two hour walk to school this morning. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking that I'm absolutely mad and I probably am. But it's the school's birthday today and every year on the school's birthday we do something for charity. In previous years we've had Harry Potter Day and Disney Day but this year's theme is a bit more serious. This year's theme is International Day and as part of International Day we're thinking about education in other countries and what other people have to do for their education. Here in the UK every child gets to go to school for free but it's a lot harder in other countries. It's hard to imagine when we're complaining about how much homework we have or what time we have to get up to get the school bus, what other people in other countries do for their education. Here in the UK the average school journey is just 1.5 miles and only 50% of 5 to 10 year olds actually walk to school and 36% of 11 to 16 year olds. But in Uganda the average walk to school is about 6 miles long which takes them 2 hours and that's the same walk that I'm doing to school today. In Tanzania girls have to walk on average 9 miles to school and that's barefoot and wading through muddy rivers. A big problem for Tanzanian girls going to school is that they often get raped or abused on their way. This has resulted in small groups of girls living in ghettos in towns where they go to school which isn't safe either since they have no adult supervision. I guess one of the advantages of walking to school is that it really is quite beautiful and you can hear the bird song and look over at the lake and it really wakes your mind up ready for school. I saw a bird, I saw a bird with a yellow bill. bill. It landed on my window sill. My window sill. It really drives you insane. Let's do the time walk again. And his name was Fred and he drank his juice in bed. And he drank his juice in bed. In the end, this walking has been quite fun. We've been singing songs, having some good conversations. But I imagine if you had to walk for two hours to school, two hours back from school every single day, you've got to be pretty committed to your education and you're not going to have much time for anything else. Back to civilization. But we're so used to walking on the path now, we're just walking in the middle of the road. It's coming up to 8 o'clock and school is just in sight. It's going to be such a relief to sit down even if it is in my French lesson. Doing this walk to school has really made me think about how much in my life I take for granted and I hope it's making you think what would you do for your education.